And as a regular evening to one and all, let's start, of course, with some news of the world of cricket, where the West Indies have been asked to follow on for the second test in a row as New Zealand sliced through the tail to dismiss the tourists for a meagre 193. With a lead of 248, the Kiwis inserted the regional stars again and are hoping to do further damage before the day is over, especially with rain somewhere in the forecast. Last night, the Windies again allowed New Zealand batsmen to get away, and in the end, they amassed a solid 441 all-out, resuming at the overnight 307 for six. In effect, they added a further 134 runs for the loss of their four remaining wickets on day two. B.J. Watlin was the story, adding an invaluable 65, while the last man bowled blazed away for a breezy 38 not out, including five fours and two sixes to rub salt into the West Indies' wound at the death. Tino Best was the most successful bowler for the Windies, ending with four for 110, while Shannon Gabriel, the fast bowler on show, he was the best on show, rather, ended with two for 86, and Darren Sammy two for 92. In reply, the Windies made a steady start with openers Karen Powell and Kirk Edwards, adding 46 before being separated. While Powell fell for 21, Edwards stuck around to complete his second 50 in as many matches, getting to 55 before departing. Darren Bravo made just four and shipped Chandra Paul six, but Marlon Samuels was 15 not out with nine fours and really was the key for the West Indies as they resumed on 158 for four after the second day was rubbed of, of play due to rain. There was a delay of over an hour at the start and most of the middle session was also lost due to rain. As I told you earlier, the Windies were falling on after being dismissed for just 193 and they are now 45 without loss and rain in the forecast again.